Yo, what is going on guys? It is not in reality and today I wanted to make a video on how you can get a really good ability stone almost every time. So I have this website here that you can see in the top left. This website is the uh, stone calculator website. Uh, I'm going to put the link for it in the description so make sure you go down and look for that. So how this website works is you can uh, set exactly what you want to, for your stone. Obviously it's still like complete chance because there is RNG to it, but it will help you. It will take the like the best possible solution you could get for that stone and try to give it to you. So first of all, what you want to do is you want to do, it says I want to, and then maximize first row. So like, let's say you want a stone that the first row is what you want. You do that one only if you want the second one. And then there's one to maximize both equally. That's the one that I recommend doing. And you want to get a stone with six, six. Now, the reason you want a stone for six, six is because if you get a six, six stone, and then you slot two more nine, nine engravings into your uh, inventory slots, you'll automatically get two, three, three engravings right off the bat. And then you can use the, your accessories for just that last one and it'll cost less because then you only need uh, one en engraving on your accessories. So what we're going to do here, since I have a legendary stone, is we're going to go here and we're going to go to, I think it's nine. And then I have it on maximize both equally. So it'll try to give me the most out of my stone. So now let, all we have to do here is it says... Next, so whenever it has a star here, this is the one you want to hit. And then if it succeeds, you click that. If it fails, you click that. So what you do, it says next, and it says the top one. So let's go here. Boom. Okay, I hit the first one. So now I come back here, and I click success. And then it will move. So you move down to this one. Now I go over here, click this one. Boom, and hit this one. Click this again. Okay, we're going back up to the top. Boom. Okay, it missed. So now I click the fail. It's going to tell me to hit it again. So I hit it again. And it succeeds. It tells me to hit it again. It succeeds again. It's going to tell me to go for a fail now. It worked. So now make sure here you click fail. I know you want to click succeed because it's like, oh, I succeeded in the fail. But make sure you click fail. Okay, now we're going to go back up to this one. We hit that one. We're going to go back down to the fail and we hit the fail again. We're going to go up to the top. We hit that one. We're going to go back down to the fail. We, actually, we hit that one. It sucks, but now we can just roll again. Boom. Missed again. It's probably gonna tell us to go again. No, it tells us to go back up to the top. Okay, failed that one. The reason that's telling us to fail to do this one is we already have four, so we have more tries. But now we're kind of slacking, so it's gonna keep telling us to hit it. See if we can get it. Oh, we didn't get it. And this is where the RNG comes in. Obviously, this can tell you how to hit it, but it might not always be correct because, I mean, it, at the end of the day, it is just RNG. But we'll, we'll finish out the stone and see how we do. We're doing really good on the second one. But at the end of the day, if we get more than like three negatives, then it's not a good stone either way. So we're just going to keep hitting this. If it keeps giving it to us, it keeps giving it to us. Okay, there's a negative. And there's a negative. We got a four. Miss there. Hit there. We're just going to keep going back and forth. We got a six. Fail again. Oops, I don't even think I clicked it. Nope, there we go. Hit there, and we're done. And we got five, seven, four. It's not terrible. It's it's as you can see, it definitely averages out. Obviously, this wasn't the best stone. Obviously, there's RNG that comes into it. If I did these these stones right here, sooner or later I'd get a six six stone. At the end of the day, it does take time. But if you're just one of those people that randomly clicks all over the place because you don't really know what you're doing, like some of the times, like this stone completely sucks. So some of the times I'll really just go, okay, okay. Uh, because I'm like, oh, I don't even care. And then it does that, and you're like, oh well, that sucks. But this website, I have five alts in tier three and all of them have a six six stone because i just used this website and it worked so at the end of the day it is rng i think the website helps a lot you can obviously maximize first second or middle if you want to do it that way but uh, i hope this video guys helped you guys a little bit so you're not just randomly clicking stones like asmongold does uh, <clears throat> no, no shots or anything uh but yeah i'll be posting this in the description i hope this video helped you guys and i will see you in the next video peace